So USF will start first down and 10 from their own 25-yard line, going from left to right. Pulls in their all-white uniforms tonight. UCF blacking out Bright House Network Stadium. They're in all black with white helmets. USF's offense has made quite the turnaround after the first four games. The Bulls are averaging 32.5 points per game, which is 15 points higher than the Taggart era high and the highest for USF since 2007. First and 10 for the Bulls on the left hash mark at their own 25-yard line. Flowers in the shotgun, Mack to his left. Three wide receivers, two right, one to the far side. Four down linemen for UCF, their defensive coordinator, former USF D coordinator, Chuck Bresnahan. Flowers takes the shotgun snap, hands it off to Mack, it's a reverse. Back to Flowers, Flowers fires it deep down the far side, looking for Rysheen Bronson, and it is tipped and incomplete by UCF. The Bulls tried for a double reverse flea flicker deep to Rysheen Bronson, but it was broken up by Gerard Boykins, the junior from Orange Park, Florida. Bulls tried to take a chance on first down. They threw it deep, but in a double coverage, it was a nice play to break it up by UCF's Gerard Boykin. So second and 10 from the 25. Flowers in the shotgun, Mack to his left. UCF shows blitz. Now they back off a little bit. The Bulls turn to their far sideline to change the play. Seven seconds left on the play clock. They have to hurry. Three left. Adams in motion near side. Play action, fake Flowers, keeps it near side across the 30. Spins up field. He's close to a first down. He's shy by a yard to the 34. Well, this UCF defense has been gashed all season. Not only on the field, but off it as well. A combined 31 missed games due to injuries on defense. Third and one, Flowers in the shotgun at the 34-yard line. Five minutes into the first quarter, Bulls trail 3-0. Flowers, hands off to Mack. No, keeps it himself. Coming near side, Flowers setting up his blocks with Price. Gets to the near side. He is pushed out of bounds after picking up the first down at the 43-yard line. So back-to-back read options for Quinton Flowers. He's been killer on the ground this year for USM. In his last seven games, 587 rushing yards and six TDs. A career-high 259 passing yards against Syracuse along with over 200 yards rushing against SMU. Flowers, second pass of the night is complete to the near side. Caught by Rodney Adams across midfield to the UCF 49-yard line. Pickup of eight on first down. Brings up second down and two. Rodney Adams has been fantastic. After dropping a long touchdown pass at Maryland, Rodney has exploded. He has a touchdown in six out of the last seven, and he set a new USF record with eight touchdown receptions this season. Second and two at the 49. Flowers. Hands it to Mack, trying to get around the corner. He does, has the first down and more, and he's planted at the 45-yard line. Gain of four yards and a fresh set of downs for USF. The Bulls rushing for 239 and a half yards per game, shattering the Bulls' season record. First down and 10 at the 45. Flowers, quick pass to the left. It's caught by Adams. Lot of running room on the far side. Outside the numbers, makes a move. Picks up the first down right at the 35-yard line. Actually, slow mark him out about a yard shy. Gain of nine on first down, and it's second down and one. USF probably licking their chops this week, watching UCF on film. The Knights, 93rd in rush defense, 109th in pass defense, 115th in total defense, and 126th in pass efficiency defense. It has been a struggle all season long for Chuck Bresnahan's group. Second down and one at the 36-yard line. Ball on the left hash mark. Flowers, draw play. Marlon Mack up middle. He cuts it near side. Has the first down falling inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. And, you know, you talk about this team and how much they've progressed from Taggart's first year until now. They scored less than 15 offensive touchdowns in Willie's first season. They have 44 this year. Seven minutes into the first quarter, first and 10 USF trailing UCF. 3-0, a whistle and a flag against the Bulls. It'll be a false start. So that'll push the Bulls back five yards. 7.54 left in the first quarter, 3-0 USF trails. This is the Bulls' first offensive possession. Started back at their 25. They're now at the USF 39. First down at 15. Flowers alone in the shotgun. Five wide receivers. Bronson and Mack lined up to the left. Pope, Barr, and Adams to the right. UCF has four down linemen. 
Two deep safeties. Adams in motion left. Adams takes the end around. He gets across the 35-30. Makes a move, and he's pushed out shy of the first down by two yards at the 26-yard line. Oh, for a second there. Looks like Rodney Adams might have a chance to break that. Well, on the season defensively, UCF is allowing 37 points per game, almost 465 yards per game total, 200 on the ground, and almost 275 through the air. Flowers in the shotgun on second and two from the 26. Three wide receivers right. He takes the snap, play action fake, looking, throws, near side, man wide open. It's caught in the 30 by bar. He's inside the 20 and ducks out of bounds on the near side line at the 16-yard line. This UCF defense, almost every player has a new career high in tackles as we have a flag down. This might be against USF. The officials are going to huddle up, but back to what I was saying. Only two players had more than 40 career tackles coming into 2015. One of them, Thomas Niles. He's probably the best defensive player UCF has. So almost every player who has played a down on defense for UCF this year has a new career high in tackles. 16 different players have made their first career start on defense. It's pretty incredible. And you look at the two winless teams in the country, Kansas and UCF, and they have the same issue. There's no experience. Kansas and UCF are tied for the least amount of experience in the entire country, and it would explain a lot. Officials are not huddling, and Tracy Jones seems like he's ready to give us a ruling. There is a flag down. Chris Barr picked up a first down on second down and two. And we'll see. Here's the call. So they call illegal touching against USF. Apparently, Barr went out of bounds and came back in and was the first to touch it, so... It is a five-yard penalty against USF. And instead of second and two, or a first down, I should say, inside the 20, it'll be second down and seven from the 31. USF needs the 24. Three-nothing, Bulls trail, 6.43 and counting left of the first quarter. Bulls driving from left to right on their first offensive possession. Second and seven, ball on the left hash mark. Flowers in the shotgun, sends a man in motion near side. It's a quarterback keeper up the middle of Flowers, goes, and he stopped for a loss of a yard. Thomas Niles on the stop, along with Monte Taylor. So it is third down and eight from the 32-yard line. They're just at the edge of Emilio Nadelman's field goal range. The Bulls, outside of that first play, have kept it pretty conservative on this first drive. We'll see what they draw up here. Shotgun set for Flowers. Johnson in the game at tailback. Splits out wide to the left. Two wide receivers to the near side as well. The night show blitz. Here they come. Throw over the middle for Rodney Adams is incomplete at the 20-yard line. And we'll see what USF elects to do here on fourth down and eight in the 32. We saw UCF go for on their first possession. Bulls are taking their time deciding. And the Bulls' offense will remain on the field on this fourth down and eight from the 32. The Bulls have won six out of seven. Bull eligible for the first time since 2010. Here we go. The Knights picked up a fourth and seven on their first drive. Can the Bulls do the same? It's fourth and eight at the 32. Flowers alone in the shotgun. UCF doesn't have anybody down with their finger in the dirt. They bring pressure, Flowers, pump fakes, rolling near side, looking, throws, it is caught inside the 15, inside the 10 by Johnson, up the near hash mark, inside the 5 to the 4-yard line. What a throw by Quentin Flowers, and what a catch by Dearness Johnson. The Bulls hurrying it up, first down and goal from the 4. Flowers in the shotgun, trips to the near side. Johnson in the back, Flowers, quick pass, near side bar, he's into the end zone, touchdown Bulls! Flowers to bar from four yards out. The same play the Bulls scored on last week against Cincinnati for their fourth touchdown. Works again tonight. 